So here is then a fairly straightforward arithmetical problem using current currency, but for which we're going to use some ancient Greeks. Well, first of all, let's calculate some names. First class stamps, we'll let the number of them be x. Second class stamps, let the number of them be y. Then you can form an equation. You've bought a certain number of first class stamps, a certain number of second class stamps, and it came to exactly £12.18. Well, that must mean that 69x and 27y would be, putting that into pence as well, 1,218. A linear equation, so obviously there are solutions to it, but we're treating it as a Diophantine equation in that we're only interested in integral solutions. Or, more so specifically in this case, same as Diophantus, positive integral solutions, since in those days negative numbers were nonsense numbers. Well, the first quandary is this. Are we going to use the Euclidean algorithm to find the greatest common divisor when it's glaringly obvious that the greatest number that can divide into both of them is 3? I'll be begging the question if we omit that part. I think first of all I'll just go through this leaving them as an unsolved mystery and use the Euclidean algorithm on those two numbers first of all. Now, I'm not going to go through the theory again, I did that elsewhere. So 69 then can be represented as 2 times the 27, that's 54, so that would leave me with 15. So I'm now working with the 27. 27 and 15, I can only get one 15 from that, and that's then going to leave me with 12. Working with these two, the 15 again is only one lot of 12, and that would leave me with a 3. And then finally, working with these two, 12 is 4 times 3 plus 0. That leaves me as 3 is the greatest common divisor. 69 and 27. The greatest common divisor of 69 and 27 is 3, as you knew all along. The divid digits add up to 15, add up to 9. They divide by 3. But the handy thing in doing this, though, obviously, is so I can read it backwards and find a solution to this. So what have I got? I've got 3 is equal to 15 take away 1 times 12. I'll just use a dot instead of the multiply just to save some ink. Then 12 can be written as 27 take away 1 times 15. Tidy that up. I've now got plus 1 and another one is 2 lots of 15. Take away 1 lot of 27. Now the 15 can be written as 69 take away 2 lots of 27 minus the 1 lot I had already. So that's 2 lots of 69. Minus 4, minus 1, minus 5 lots of 27. That gives me 3. So I could write that part out. That's this, this equation here I've got. I've got 69 times 2. And it's a plus that I want, plus 27. So it'll be plus 27 times negative 5 should equal 3. But it's not 3 that I want. It's 12, 18. Now, 12, 18 means I'm wanting 3 into that, 3 into 12, 18, which is going to be 406 times this. So I'll have 69 times, and that will be 812, plus 27 times, and then 5 times it, negative 2030, will equal the 12, 18. But obviously that's not going to be the number of stamps that we're going to use, because I'm not going to trade in 2,027 pen stamps in order to spend 12.18 by an 812. No, I can alter these by taking multiples of each side. So that if I was to take from the 69, if I was to take away some 27s, and for the 27, if I was going to add on some 69s, the result would be the same. Take away the product of 27 times 69, add on the product, that's the same thing. However, they had a common factor of 3. So dividing them by 3 would give the same result, and I can do that as many times as I like. That would give all the solutions. So what I've actually got is 69 times 812 minus 9 lots of n, negative 2030, plus 23 lots of n. And then it's just a case of choosing the appropriate amount of N. Well, obviously, I need the number of second-class stamps to go positive. 
So how many 23s would it take to overwhelm 2030? I'll just have to do a little division for that. So 23 into 2030, it's pretty close to it. Eight times that would be 24, two over 16, 18. 18 is going to leave me with, that's 19 there. And obviously that's the same again, that'll be 88 plus a bit. So 88 is not enough, it must be 89. So the first real solution here that I'm interested in, real in terms of ancient Greek positive, would be when n equals 89. So what's my solution when n equals 89? I would have 812, take away 9 of those, so I'll just put that underneath, 9 times that's 81, then 72 up to 80, so that leaves 11. For this one, it'll be, so I'll have the 2030 at the bottom, and that's going to be 23 times 89. Well, that part that came to this, which was, take that away, was six short of that. So six short of that means that I can put another 17 onto that, so that must be 2047. So that's going to leave me with 17. So there's one solution. 11 69 pence stamps, 17 27 pence stamps. But of course, I could take off, that was 89 of them. If I was to take another lot of nine off of this, dropping it to 2, that's still a real amount, and put another 23 to balance it onto that, just that's increasing in by 1, then I get another solution, 240. I can't take away any more 9s from this, and I can't take away any more 23s there, or it'll go negative. So there are two solutions. The two solutions being, you can either have x equals 11 and y equals 17, or x equals 2 and y equals 40. Now, that was doing it strictly, I suppose, by ignoring the fact that I knew myself that the greatest common divisor was 3. If I did appreciate that in a simple case like this, then I wouldn't have had to go through this routine to find that. I would still need this routine to use it backwards to find my solutions, though. So I'll do it again, realising I can cancel by 3, which of course I know you do, just to see the difference in the arithmetic. So here it is again. Here's the Diophantine equation I want to solve. Well, the first thing I do is I realise, wait, they all divide by 3. That's going to be 3 into that's going to be 23, and 3 into that's going to be 9, and 3 into that is 406. So I'll be solving that instead. That's an equivalent equation. So what, then I, would, what I would do then is say, right, what about 23? 23 is going to be 2 times 9, that's the 18 plus the 5. Okay, the same numbers are appearing here. Start again with the 9 and the 5. 9 is going to be 1 times 5 plus the 4. And 5 is going to be 1 times 4 plus 1. And finally, 4 is going to be 4 times 1 plus 0, making 1 the greatest common divisor, because I've already taken out any common factor that they had, obviously. So 23, the greatest common divisor of 23 and, whoops, 9 is 1. Right, reading that backwards then. 1 equals 5 take away 1 times 4, which equals 5 take away 1 times, now what was 4 equal to? 9 minus 1 times 5. So that means I've got, add 1 onto this 5, so I've got 2 times 5 take away 1 times 9. The 5 can now be changed into, so I've got 2 times 23 take away 2 times 9, minus the 1 lot of 9. And again, those are standing for multiplications, obviously, because there's no decimals involved in these Daffantine equations. So that altogether, I've got 2 times 23, take away 4, take away 1, take away 5 times 9. So for this equation, I can say my solution is, I've got 23 times 2, and it has to be a plus. 9 times, and it'll have to be the negative 5, would give me, oh, sorry, would give me just 1. But I want it to give me 406. So I'll just multiply this up, and then you'll just notice the same numbers appearing again. So it's going to have to be 8, 12, and it's going to have to be 5 times it, negative 20, 30, which is equal to 4, 0, 6. And then the same again, I can create my other solutions by adding on multiples of the other, so that if I have 20 add on, I'll have to take it away, sorry, because I want it to go down, not up, take away... 9 times 23, add on 9 times 23, as many times as you like. Now, 
those were co-prime so those are the finest that's the finest resolution if you like that I can get between my answers and then it's just the same as before how many 23s will it take to get there I did that already it would be 89 so it's just a repetition of before so when n equals 89 what have I got well when n is 89 you go through the same arithmetic and you have that comes to 812 take away the 801 which is 11 and that's going to be the 23 times 89 which is 2047 take away the 2030 which is 17 for one solution and then you just do it again there's room to take away another 9 so that means there's room to add another 23 which gives me 2 and 40 as a second solution so as before my solutions are x is 11 y is 17 that was the first ones I got by using 89 there or by taking it one step further x equals 2 or y equals 40.